Hey everybody, I'm trying my first narration video. I'm using a primer, which is the NYX eyeshadow base in the color, I think it's skin. And I do it all on my lid and below my eye. And this is an Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the color Delinquent. I really like these as bases and sometimes just to use by themselves. Um, when you put them on, you have to rub them in very quickly because if not, then they pretty much won't budge, which is why I love them. Um, I usually will use them as a liner under my eye, but I decided to use them as a base today. Then as a transition color, I'm going in with Cork from MAC. I'm sorry I'm not showing the actual product. I was going to try to do some fancy editing, but my computer decided to hate me. So sorry, this is what you get. Now using, I'm just using an e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going in with Frigid from Urban Decay. And I'm pretty much just working that in, in the outer V of my eye, nothing special. And once I get that concentrated color, I start to blend it in the socket or in the crease, socket, crease, whatever you want to call it. And even with narration videos, I cannot remain professional. I apologize. This is just my voice. Except it's almost like an inner monologue because I'm doing something and you can't see my mouth moving. <laughs> Now I'm just going back with a residue from the brush that had cork. And this is just like a cheap brush from Coastal Scents that I got for like $2. Just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to get a paddle brush that I purchased from Rockin' Republic. And I like it because it's a huge, I think it's pretty big. And it's very, it's pretty dense. I'm going in with Urban Decay Stardust Eyeshadow in the color Void. The, the shadow, it looks really pretty in, Bento, quit scratching, you're ruining my narration. <laughs> um, it's really pretty, but when you put it on, it doesn't. it's not that pigmented, but it is very shimmery. That's what I like. It has a lot of glitter. Um, I think if I used a black base, it would have come out a lot nicer, but this is what I have. And then on the edges, I'm just going back in with the residue from the color of uh, Frigid. And I'm taking that Urban Decay in the color Delinquent on the bottom lash line. And whenever I do anything like this on the bottom lash line so that it doesn't look so harsh, I usually will smoke it out. Smoke it out. <laughs> and this is also a Rockin' Republic pencil brush. Rockin' Republic has really good brushes. I like their brushes. I never really have any shedding problems. This is a crown brush, and I'm pretty much just going in with a, a matte soft shadow kind of skin color. It's Whisper from Mark, which is an Avon product. And now I'm being very careful, this double take, because <laughs> this is a cargo and the color black, but I have like this sharpener that like choose the hell out of all my pencils. If you guys know a good sharpener, please let me know because they always leave jagged edges and it never sharpens anything right. And this is me doing my tight line. Do, 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 do. I look super creepy. And this is going to be a very long, drawn out process of me doing my wing liner. And this is how I start it. I think I've done one video on my liner, but I don't even think I was in shot most of the time, but I'm doing it a little different. I'm working a lot of it into the inner tear duct, the V, because I've been following this girl on Instagram. Check her out. Her name is Rose Shock. I'll, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Um, 
her eye makeup is amazing. Like, she's beautiful. She looks like a freaking doll. But I love the way she does her eyeliner. So I figured I was going to try it and see how it worked out. And it actually, with this liner, this is Jet from Coastal Scents. And I really like this liner. It actually held up and it didn't smudge on me because I always get watery eyes. But I mainly get watery eyes, uh, not in the, the middle part of my eye, but mainly on the other side. So I'm doing my little famous double points at the end. I always do that. Cause I guess because it reminds me of anime eyes. So I'll always like do a little extra line. And I'm about to do it right there. <laughs> I always do that. But I never get them the same on both eyes. But what you gonna do? And I'm going with the liquid liner. This is what I've been doing lately because this liner lasts forever. And once I put that in, I'm gonna go back in with my pencil brush from... Rockin' Republic, and you guessed it, smoke it out. And that's what that looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I'm going to go in with, it's Cargo Lash Ready Glitter Liner. Now, this stuff is beautiful, but if you get it in your eyes, it's going to burn like a motherfucker. So this is me trying not to cry on camera because it burns so bad. And I think I'm going to stop again because it is very painful. But it's beautiful. It comes on and when you're putting it over your liner, it has like a blue tint to it. But it's like a holographic glitter. It's really pretty. The only downside other than it burning the shit out of your eyes is that it flakes off. It doesn't have a lasting effect. So good for pictures, not for wear. Long wear. And this is just a dollar elf eyelash curler and this mascara I've actually been loving it's a sample from Stila's waterproof and the formula is dry I like dry mascaras a lot because it tends to give I don't know it gives it volume which makes me feel like I have obviously more lashes and this one it almost feels like it has fibers that also helps increase the length I don't know I love this mascara the only downside is is that it's waterproof now I'm going in with Rimmel London's lip liner in the color natural but I'm pretending to put it on comfortably when deep inside I'm in pain because once again I tried to sharpen it and now I'm literally at some point I even get a splinter on my lip because it's so badly sharpened but I'm trying to act normal in this video so I'm like trying to play it off and I'm sitting there trying to curse not move my lips too much <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with Stila lip glaze in the color spice spicy it's usually one that I go to until I'm done with it because I have a triple pack of these. I always have these for some reason. I guess I really like them. They're not sticky and they're just kind of a subtle color. So this is the look, total look. Figured you could see it in better lighting if I was standing up. And sorry if I look so freaking white and pale because I'm right in front of a window. And you guys already know the issue about the lighting the way it is there. It freaking hates me. But um, I'll put all the products description in that box below. The description box of all the products I used. But thanks for watching.